Coming up next, we continue my draft run, as well as we have a look at Hebu's Uncle Sam deck in a matchup. Up next in Let's Play Cards. Greetings and welcome. I am Mingle and this is Cards and I am not going to do a lot of talking. We're going to get straight back in to the action. So first up, let's continue my draft run. If you want to see how I drafted this deck and how my uh, first match went, you can obviously see I lost. You are welcome to click in the link below in the comments. So on f five credits, I can bring out well four fourth turn. As stated in other card games, I suck in draft mode. I was hoping this is going to be different in cards. So far. So I don't want to play the Panzer now because I want to have the cost on zero. So I think I'm going to skip one more turn and then I'll play the Fox Grenadier. I don't will not wish to sudden strike with the Katusha, but if you leave it unchallenged, it, the damage adds up. It does. Hmm. Let's do that. This not an ideal play. Bring out the folks. So that's interesting. It's very interesting. So yes, um, I, if you've missed the previous episode, as uh, mentioned already, click down in the comment section, there will be a link. Um, kindly click there and then you can have a look at how I drafted this deck and just uh, my thought process behind this uh, amount of cards together. So also stated, I, what I will do is I will do this entire draft run hopefully in the next two weeks and I will showcase every single match and um, I will share it with my viewers so I'm going to kind of squeeze it in with quick little videos throughout the week like this one kind of I guess you can call it uncut it's like not a lot of editing and things like that and then take it 
from there. He always seems to have the answers. He's definitely going to, you know, drive in and destroy my SU-152. Don't want this thing to basically tank. Let's play this one first. And then also... T-34. 85. It's got a bigger barrel, y'all. Oh, I want to play this. So, Florette has gone with, with the same full process than myself. So, we bring out the issue. really hoping to bring out a, another video by the weekend I kind of made a promise at the end of uh, my previous video so I do apologize I got into some other things you know, I have so yeah so I wish I could have done that. but I'll make up for it all I'll play a lot of uh, videos throughout this week to reinforce <laughs> heavy armor 9 10 11 let's do that oof i've got this card in my personal personal collection, but I've never added this to it and played with it. So it's five. Oh, yeah. oh well. Try not to be so down. I kind of kind of snuck it out there at the end. I've also got a lot of burn cards in my deck. If I really suck and get three defeats, then I'll do another run with you guys and hopefully we'll go better. So yes, in the previous episode, another thing to mention is if you did mention it, ugh, mention it, if you did miss it and you would like to know about how does the drafts mode work, um, uh, that's also all explained in length in the previous episode. For the last time, it's available down in the comment section. Uh, you can just click there on the previous episode link. Okay, so let's jump into our community members deck matchup. If you want to see the, the intention with the deck and all cards explained um, in the previous episode, you know, down in the link at the bottom of the comment section, I'm not going to go through it again. Um, I will however have the card list shared down in the comment section as well. 
uh, this is the Ibu. It's his Uncle Sam deck. The duplication deck. We want to duplicate strong units, so let's jump on in and try this deck. So he favors gunship early mulligan. This is actually no, I'm gonna hold on to that personally. I, I'm levitating towards this card. Peace full strength. War machine. No, I. It's always you don't want to play this early, but once again, you don't you don't allow him any momentum by playing it early. I'm sure some of our more experienced veteran community members out there is yelling at me at the screen like, "No, don't play it now. Keep it for his you know, late game strong units." I'll probably record another matchup with this deck. Really don't want to play this card. the next round I'm going to have 9 credits so then it would be 6, it would be 9, it's not enough for that because I was thinking of playing we can do it on top of the from above. How many cards does he have in his hand? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, he's going to bounce. Yeah, let's let him bounce. Tactical strike. Counter. He's playing his cards because he doesn't want to overdraw. He's also going late game. Tiger Biage. These are not easy to remove. He's probably got. You know, I don't understand how. Is this game currently became like a crazy meta or something? How are we playing exactly the same decks? <laughs> Nine cards. So I really need to play. Four, five, six. Q gives me six. Okay. 
before I played Le Beau, Le Beau, um two weeks ago I've never seen decks like this and now it feels like I'm playing against exactly the same same deck He's going to use two, four credits to attack again. If I only had two more credits, I could have used this now. That would have been a nice little combo. Boop. Boop. It looks like this uh, battleship is getting uh, bombarded or something. Fighter planes. Murderous International Snooze. Well, let's have a look if I can do it now. No, cannot. So I'm gonna have to. Oh boy. Little pain in my butt Ship on it. I'm probably going to regret not doing it. So if you can play Uncle Sam with on the Leopold, that's that's tremendous, devastating. This is very strange. Good. It's like the same day. I have not been on the Discord recently. Wow, it's gone up to 16 credits. I've not been on Discord uh, recently, so I'll definitely go have a look on the cards Discord <laughs> if this is like some sort of but, uh, Am I missing something? Jeez, this is going on. Definitely want more units on the table for if he plays there from above. We can. Um, Seventeen, Cards in our deck remaining, and he's let's send it back. Feels like the best card to play right now. And I've got a leap hold in here as well. It's just This 
speechless. Totally speechless. Did he really manage to make three copies of this? want to be a YouTuber that rages on his <laughs> episodes, but this is like... Awesome. This guy played very well game. Luckily I've got a... B17. So we'll definitely do this. Identical to Lebeau's deck. And I was under the impression he um, bought this deck out of himself, so I don't know. I'm definitely missing it. It's very strange. Sorry if I'm sounding a bit. Uh, off. I'm just, uh, I was under impression this is a very unique deck and I'm playing the game here and it's like this, uh, this international by playing the exact same deck so yeah I'm, I'm out of a loop I'll go check if this is a new meta or something or what's going on I managed to duplicate it. Okay, well I won the game. I'll definitely play another game with this deck. I don't know if that was just a fluke. And then I'm still doing my series uh, challenge of making a, my own, at all not meta, my very very own uh, bomber deck, uh, USA deck. Last month I managed to get to the to the captain rank and yes this this month we'll see how it goes because I'm kind of doing the draft right now as well so I'll see if I can do better and then also in this month still I'll show you some of my personal field marshal decks uh, my Japanese deck is a meta deck um, the British is my own creation German my own creation Soviet Union my own creation United States my own creation. Um, I, I like playing this deck that I just played now, so if it's, um, you know, I'll, I'll yeah, L let me play another game or two of it and then I'll give my final thoughts. So. As always, thank you for watching, you have yourselves a wonderful day, I'm not going to say a nice week because I'll speak to you again in this week, and as I always say, lakadach and bye bye.